Hello Pisces. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for mid-September 2020. This is a general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. There will be an extended version of this reading on Vimeo. If you find that you're resonating with the story and you want more information, there's a link in the description box below. The deck that I'm starting off with is the Energy Oracle Cards. If you are interested in any of the decks that you see me use in my readings, they are available on my website for purchase, guidedangelcc.com. There is a link in the description box below for that as well. Okay, so we're starting off with All Tied Up. Very similar to an Eight of Swords energy. Feeling like you're restricted, feeling like you can't move, feeling like you can't free yourself from a situation. Um, journey on the bottom of the deck tells me that there's somewhere that you want to go. A trip that you want to take, maybe. You want to be free. You want to move out, move on, move away, cross the bridge into your new life. Maybe you're struggling with what direction it should be. You're waiting for someone. That's what I just heard. You're waiting for someone who's being stubborn. <laughs> All right. That's what they said. Okay, let's, uh, we're going to use the Lightseer's Tarot today. You want to manifest with a person, I just heard manifest, who's being stubborn. Show me Pisces, please, for mid-September 2020. Show Pisces what they need to know. Hmm. These cards are still too new. Okay, I'm going to take that one for sure. The full card in reverse. Aries, energy. Maybe some Aquarius too, but this is about fear. This is about not taking a risk. Thinking something may be too risky. Maybe something needs more planning. It is about a person that's acting foolish. That could definitely be an issue. But the Fool is a new chapter. It's a new start and it's in reverse. So I feel like you're not starting your new journey yet since we have this journey over here because you're stuck for some reason. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. Show me... You're stuck in a house. You're stuck in a marriage. You're stuck in a long-term commitment. Your challenge position is the Nine of Wands, sign of Sagittarius. The wounded warrior. You're tired. I'm tired. And I want to end this. I want to go. Something is holding you back. Someone won't let you go. Or there's paperwork that needs to be signed or plans that need to be made but that is I'm tired I'm standing here I'm guarding this post 24 hours a day seven days a week I'm hungry I'm cold I'm miserable I am irritated I want to go I want to start my new chapter show me the base of the reading please for Pisces what is the base of this story? What is happening here? All right. The Five of Cups reversed, sign of Scorpio. Accepting a loss and wishing for what might have been. So there's something that you need to accept that's not going to happen. You're waiting for something to happen so you can move on. And it's almost like it's not going to happen. The Five of Cups in reverse can also signify an apology. Uh oh, my nose is itchy. It's going to be a fight here. Every time my nose itches, I know a lot of a lot of readers say that it's spirit, but when my nose itches, there's a fight. <laughs> Show me the past for Pisces, please. 
Show me the past for Pisces. Since these cards are so slippery. Okay, we got two. The Page of Swords. Once again, research. Seven of Pentacles. Frustration in reverse. It's not growing. It's not manifesting. It's not advancing. We're not moving on. You're doing a lot of research about something. That's for sure. You're trying to figure something out. But I'm also getting the fact that you need to face the truth and accept a loss. You need to accept something. Seven of Pentacles, sign of Taurus. Something's not growing. You're tired of waiting. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time waiting for something to happen. They're not going to do it. <laughs> Whatever it is. Whoever you're waiting for, they're not going to do it. The Ten of Wands, carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden. Sagittarius energy again. So a Sagittarius could be significant here. Um, the Ten of Wands is actually my moving card that is moving from one place to the other because this person's packed up all of their stuff and they're moving. Uh, so you might be wanting to move somewhere, go somewhere, because I'm getting that strongly, but it's not happening for some reason. It's like you're stuck planning. You're just planning. This is all in the planning phases. You're trying to figure it out. Show me what's on the bottom. Two of Pentacles. You're juggling. Tossing around ideas, weighing, balancing, comparing your options. I don't feel like it's I don't feel like it's two people yet. We don't I don't really see too much of that. But let's see. Like if you're waiting for a person who's far away to move closer to you. I feel like that's the only thing I could see because it's like you're tired of waiting for something. You're wasting your time. It's not happening. Show me how does Pisces feel about the situation. Show me Pisces, please. You're waiting for an apology from someone. I don't feel like they're not going to do that either, honestly. The devil in your role or attitude, Pisces. Well, 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 upright position. So you must want something really bad. Are you obsessed with something or someone? Interesting. Show me the roller attitude of the other person, please. The devil is the sign of Capricorn. Whatever this is, I just feel like you're not going to let it go. I'm going to take that one right there. Temperance in reverse. Sagittarius energy again. No chemistry. You don't get along with this person. Impatience. This is very, very... Someone's patience is growing thin. It's almost like I feel like somebody's saying, I want this and I want it now. There's a lot of stress and frustration and being irritated. And temperance in reverse can even signify anger. Show me more. Show me the, the um, hopes and fears for Pisces, please. Show me the hopes and fears. Hmm. Well, we got two. Ace of Wands reversed. Once again, begin a new beginning is delayed. Passion. You got two of your beginning cards are in the reverse position. And the two of wands. See, so you've made this decision. The two of wands is being at a crossroads and holding the world in your hands and being free to go down whatever road it is that you want. When it's reversed, to me, it's usually decision made. 
you've made your decision, but your new beginning isn't happening because of something that's going on right here in this other person's Sagittarius. Definitely got a Sagittarius here. The Nine of Cups reversed and the Ten of Cups in the upright. So you're not getting your Seven of Swords reversed. Somebody did something. This is a family member. Let me leave that up there. And let me put these two on the side just so I don't forget what's there. Um, that's all Pisces energy. Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups. The Nine of Cups reversed is unhappiness, sadness. And I feel like you want that Ten of Cups. But you're not getting the Ten of Cups. There's a person that you want and you're not getting them. I feel like you're frustrated. Wow, this is um pretty intense reading. Let me fix this for you a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes I don't look at my camera until, you know, that's better. Let me move that over so you can see it. There's just so much uh, impatience and frustration here. I can't even believe it. If you're a Pisces, Aries, Cusper, because I got Aries in the center of the reading and Aries over here. And the Ace of Wands can also be Aries. Um, I can understand why that's happening. There's something that you want to end. It's at the end. Y you feel like a slave to something. The Ten of Wands and the Devil to me is a slave. This could be a slave to a home, a slave to a job, a slave to a partnership. You really want to leave, but for some reason, you just feel like you can't. I strongly feel like someone wants to move. Um, I don't want to say far away, just change homes, possibly go to a different city, a different state, whatever it is. Because of the journey card, you want to enter your new life. But your full card's reversed, your Ace of Wands is reversed, and even the Two of Wands is here in the reversed position. You have your, you've done your research. You're, if you are not obsessed with someone or some, you're, I feel like you, you're obsessed with this because you're very frustrated and possibly even angry that you're not getting what you want, which I can't believe a Pisces would be angry, but hey, they can. Everybody gets angry, especially during Mars retrograde. <laughs> but the nine of cups reversed next to the ten of cups in the upright. See, this is not getting your wishes when it's reversed. So you're not, this is your wish. This ten of cups would be your wish. A happy family, children, possibly even a home. Um, I feel like there's a problem within the family. Seven of Swords reversed is usually my feels guilty, deception coming to light. I mean, you've really, like, this is frustration. This is stressed out. This is irritated. This is angry. This is frustrated again. Um, losing passion, losing motivation. You, you've with this five of cups here, I, I feel like you're waiting for some type of apology that's not coming. I just want to say that to someone if, you know, having the devil in your role or attitude doesn't necessarily have to be you because I, I feel like someone might be stalking you. I feel like someone might be obsessed with you thinking that you owe them an apology. And they're like waiting and they're getting more and more angry the longer they wait. Something is taking a long time and a lot of research and somebody feels very restricted, like they can't move, but it's because of another person. There's an obstacle here and it's a person. Where's my mini deck? 
let's see if we could get just a little bit more information because the whole entire reading is based on unhappiness and frustration and feeling stuck and feeling like you can't get this new life. There's not really much else to say, honestly. Let me take, I'll take a few. Um, can I have some more information here for Pisces, please? This one, the Four of Swords. Sign of Libra. Wow, guys, my nose is itching bad. Um, four of Swords reversed Libra. Done healing, ready to take action. Okay, show me one more. Pisces, please. Queen of Pentacles. All right, now we have a person. This could be you. Queen of Pentacles, grounded, stable, loyal. There's that Ten of Pentacles again. Somebody wants a new house, wants a family, wants stability, wants to be married. I mean, a wedding could be delayed, a relationship could be delayed. If this is the person you're dealing with, I mean, I like it. That's loyal, hard worker. I always say she can bring home the bacon and fry it up in the pan. Show me Pisces, please. I'm pulling you a few extra cards because there's that Nine of Wands again. All right. I'm trying to get something different. Page of Cups reverses unrequited love to me. This could be a child. You're waiting for a child to come see you. But any page that's in reverse, there's your Two of Wands. You're just like standing at this crossroads. I don't feel like you're moving at all. It's like you're planning or trying to figure it out or but i'm sorry i'll go back to the page the page of cups in reverse cancer places scorpio energy um is something that somebody doesn't want to hear so there was obviously some type of a three of swords with this person and we're done healing now i'm hearing five months it's been five months you're not speaking this person's not coming forward, apologizing. They're not communicating. You're getting frustrated. You're tired of waiting. You're thinking about going to see them. But I just feel like there's no movement here. Somebody's really stressed out. <laughs> there's that Ten of Cups again. That happy family. Somebody has the power to free themselves from all of this mental madness. There's mental madness going on here without even any sorts. It's just going to take uh, someone picking up the phone, sending that message, being the first one to reach out. Um, I'm going to pull you an Island Time Wellness card as a final message. And then I'm going to take this over to Vimeo and see if we can... We'll pull some more oracle cards and see if we can get some more information. I just feel like you're waiting to hear from someone or you're waiting for someone to leave a relationship or you're trying to move and you can't. It's on hold. Somebody's holding you back. Somebody won't apologize. Somebody won't speak to you or you refuse to speak to them. Need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal, progress. Which is good. Something's just not ready. I feel like it's not divine timing right now. Right now it's time to heal and it's time to plan. I mean, that's what it seems like. Bottom of the deck, I told you. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. You're not speaking to someone right now and you're very frustrated about it. You wish this person would come forward so we can get back to this happy family. But I don't feel like they're doing it. I feel like someone is on the other side, like waiting. This reading is just so strange. I feel like you're either being stalked or you're stalking someone. You're stressed out and you're frustrated. Both of you seem like you're not making a move. One person is just sitting there waiting, saying, no, they have to come and apologize to me. And the other person is afraid 
to come and apologize because they think that there's going to be some type of a fight, but they're obsessed with you at the same time. Very strange, Pisces. Um, all right, I'm going to I'm going to leave that there here on Vimeo. I, I, there's not really much more for me to say, guys. It, it's just it's you're all tied up. You're stuck and you can't you can't pick a path or you can't choose or you can't make a move or something. I don't know. When we get over to the Vimeo side, maybe we'll get a little more information. If you're not joining me there, thank you so much for watching and good luck with your situation. If you are joining me on Vimeo, I will see you on the other side.